Hey everybody, today we're going to be setting you up with your very own BTC Pay server. This is important because a lot of Bitcoin payment processors or BTC Pay processors are on somebody else's server and you're just creating an account on that server. And that's great. If all you're trying to do is just get your feet wet and understand this ecosystem a little bit better, uh, it's a great first step. However, again, the issue is that you're just creating an account on their server. They have complete and total control over that hardware. And as a result, in my opinion, it's not much better than if you just use PayPal or a traditional payment processor to run your business. So today we're going to fix that. We're going to set you up with your uh, very own payment processor. Uh, now, before we get started, you will be helped if you have a basic understanding of command line interfaces of Linux. However, if you're just a beginner, you're more than welcome to tag along. Now, if at any time you're frustrated or you have questions or you just want somebody to do this for you, totally understandable, reach out to us. We've set up a bunch of these servers. Uh, we've broken them, hacked them, uh, <laughs> fixed them. So drop us a line. But with that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is create a DigitalOcean account. Uh, if you follow the link I give you, um, you will get $200 credit that you can spend over two months, which effectively makes us a two-month free trial. Do that, and once you create your DigitalOcean account, you're going to want to hit this green button up here called Create and select uh, Droplets right up at the top. All right, so once you do that, you're going to see the screen and you're just going to go and select the options that make sense. Uh, so for, for me, San Francisco, we're going to use Ubuntu, uh, the latest version at the recording, it's 22.1. Um, then we go down to the CPU options and we pick our plan. I go for regular SSD um, and the $12 a month one. Uh, then, then we go down, and you, if you haven't made, added an SSH key, this is where you're going to add a new one, um, and they have instructions if you don't have an SSH uh, public key, what to do. Or if, if this doesn't work, you can also use uh, login methods. So this is using an SSH key is much more secure than using a login. So I highly recommend you uh, create, generating the key, pasting it in here, giving it a name, and then you can add that so that every time you'll just automatically log in whenever you try to SSH into. What you're going to do is you're going to enable uh, you're going to enable monitoring. Uh, this is not necessary, but it's really useful if you're trying to debug and maybe something's eating up a bunch of space on your your job. All right, uh, give it a name. I always just go BTC Pay, make things easy, and then hit create the create droplet button. Wait for that to pop up. So in your terminal, what you're going to do is you're going to SSH into the droplet. And you're just going to do SSH uh, root at and then copy over the IP address. Boom. Uh, hit yes. Uh, once the key is added, all right, then you're going to get this nice prompt. Um, first thing you do, this is just good good habits is you're going to update the operating system. This is going to make sure that all your packages are up to date for security reasons. Obviously that is something you're, you're going to want to do. Now you're going to upgrade. So sudo apt upgrade, hit Y to confirm. I want a side note, but I, one of the things I love about the, using a terminal is that you just feel like a hacker, you know, when you're, you, you type in two commands, you get all this text that's, you know, spewing across the screen and you got a little progress bar go. I, I, I love it. It, it, make, it makes me feel special. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, once we upgrade the, the packages and make sure everything, next what we're going to do is we're going to install Fish. Now, Fish is completely, you don't need to do this. this. It's a freebie, completely optional, but Fish makes it so much easier to use a command line, to use a terminal. Oh, but yeah, Fish has a lot of autocomplete options. It has a great like command history, so you can type out, like if you uh, forget the entire command, but you previously executed, you can type in like a couple words, and then use the arrow keys to, to find it. 
you can autocomplete things so much better. It has a nice color system, which it's going to be kind of hard to read on, on this on my on my terminal. All right, now you're going to sudo apt install fish. Hit yes. All right, fish. Boom. All right. So now we got everything ready and we're ready to start. Now you will be greatly helped if you pull up the blog post I wrote on setting this up. So I'm gonna pull that up and we can follow along. But here's, here's the post I made. Uh, the link is, link is in the description. It's install fish. All right, now we're going to clone the GitHub repository. And just copy paste commands like a good script kitty. CD BTC pay server. All right, then we're just going to copy this whole thing. Um, now, a lot of this stuff is kind of self explanatory. We got uh, export BD additional. So, that what this is doing is instead of storing the entire uh, Bitcoin blockchain, which is, I don't quote me on this, but I think over 300 gigabytes, this creates a much more condensed version, which is only 50 gigabytes which is how much our droplet can hold. This, this enables you to use BTC transmuter. This is kind of, this is probably optional. You probably will not be using BTC pay transmuter uh, because transmuter, it's a really powerful tool. Uh, we're still kind of experimenting, testing it out, but it enables you to automate payments. Uh, so you can automate Bitcoin payments uh, to certain places, really powerful. Uh, but beyond the scope of this tutorial, um, Enable SSH, just saying we can SSH into it. Enable Lightning Network. Um, and then the, the important one that we're gonna have to worry about is insert domain. Um, so we're gonna copy that and we're going to paste it. All right, so the only one we have to change is this top one. Now this is important because this is the domain that you're gonna use to reach the uh, payment BDC pay server. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use uh, bitcoin.cryptoconcierge.consulting uh, and hit enter. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to go to bash because fish does not like uh, the script that we're gonna be running. Um, and then we're gonna wait a couple minutes for it to do its work and uh, see you then. All right, and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, all we gotta do is wait for the the node to sync, uh, which takes a couple weeks typically. Uh, and you can check the progress. You can either log into it or you can go to um, hit the block count script. Uh, and now it's gonna say zero. Well, it's it's booting up, and getting ready. Now, now that it is set up and running, uh, we're, next we're going to attach the domain name to this uh, Bitcoin server. All right, so we're going to uh, go to your Namecheap dashboard and navigate to the advanced DNS button. Scroll down, you're gonna to wanna to create a new record. You're gonna make it an A record. And then this is going to be the subdomain. So um, I put down bitcoin.cryptoconcierge.consulting. So all we're going to do is put Bitcoin. Uh, it's gonna do the rest. And then we're gonna go back to our uh, BTC pay um, server. We're going to copy the IP address and just paste it down there. Uh, hit the confirm bar. Your first reaction is probably going to want to type in the address and um, bitcoin.cryptoconcierge.consulting uh, but you're going to see this and that's that's okay that that's this is what's supposed to happen. You just got to wait for some time uh, for the for the for the records to update, and, and then you'll be able to see the uh, login screen. Now this is the last step. Uh, you go to the domain. So for us, it's Bitcoin.CryptoConcierge.Consulting, and it's going to take you immediately to this register create an account page. Uh, this is important that you get here as soon as you can and create your account because it is a first come first serve. Whoever gets here and Creates the account, gets the admin account, uh, which controls the entire uh, BDC pay server. All right, so once you do this, you create an account, you're in. You just have to uh, wait for the node to sync before you will be able to create a hot wallet and create invoices. Again, that, that process takes about two weeks. 
And if you're curious as far as like how, what to use the UI and what features there are and how to make the most of your BTC pay server, uh, here's a link to another tutorial I did about, about that very thing. So with that said, I hope this was useful, helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if, or if you have ideas for other topics you'd like me to get into and explain. All right, so with that said, I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day and I'll see you guys around.